Christopher McCallion is a fellow at Defense Priorities, a foreign policy think tank based in Washington, D.C. America now finds itself in the middle major geopolitical crises that pit it against major powers in distant parts of the world, on behalf of countries that are not U.S. treaty allies. Despite temporary ceasefire hostage agreement announced Tuesday, U.S. forces are still in the Middle East to deter Iran and Hezbollah from intervening in Israel's war with Hamas, putting American troops at risk threatening to draw United States into another major war is available. American troops have already been the target of dozens of drone missile attacks by Iran-backed forces in Iraq. Syria and Yemen have launched retaliatory strikes in response. In Eastern Europe, the United States is essentially waging a proxy war with Russia over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In East Asia, the United States risks a devastating showdown with China over Taiwan's political status. In an Oval Office speech last month, President Joe Biden argued that all of these flashpoints are interconnected fronts of what administration has previously framed as a global struggle between democracy and autocracy. Biden also asserted that ensuring that Israel and Ukraine succeed is vital to America's national security. In an oath the Washington Post this weekend, he reiterated that the United States is a fundamental nation. These claims do not stand up to scrutiny. In reality, the American public is increasingly reluctant to indefinitely foot the bill for military aid to conflicts abroad. Recent polls show declining support for both Israel and Ukraine among both Democrats and Republicans. The United States' decades-long policy of maintaining permanent friends and enemies in the Middle East has been counterproductive to its interest in regional stability. The United States has turned against Iran in recent years, employing a maximum pressure campaign of economic sanctions while assassinating Iran's key military figure, Qasem Soleimani. Meanwhile, United States inadvertently increased Tehran's regional influence by overthrowing Saddam Hussein's government in Iraq and later providing arms to anti-Assad forces during the Syrian civil war. This ultimately strengthened both ISIS and Iran-backed militias in U.S.-backed fight. Sunni rebels, nor have America's partners, whose misbehavior has been made possible by Washington's unconditional support, promoted regional stability. The United States has consistently supported Israel despite ongoing settlement construction in occupied West Bank and long-standing blockade of Gaza. This feeds into underlying Israeli-Palestinian conflict that now threatens to engulf region. And despite rhetoric of democracy versus autocracy, United States has supported Saudi Arabia's horrific war against Iran-backed how this Yemen. This war resulted 377,000 deaths and nearly 80 deaths what United Nations called the worst humanitarian crisis world. The Biden administrat. 